My opponent tonight is Cameron Esposito, who just released her new comedy special, the proceeds of which she's donating to charity. Comedy doing good in the world? I just don't see it. Cameron Esposito, everybody. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you so much, Jordan. Happy Pride Month to you. It is. Yeah. I'm always prideful to be in America. So, right. Uh, no, but to me, it's, it's always Pride Month. Well, but this one's... Really Pride Month. Yeah, I so. like to think they're all really Pride Month. No, right? this is the one, though. You think this is the special month? This is the special month. Well, I'm happy. That's good. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, Happy Pride Month. Thank you, yeah. I want to talk about your special. It's got quite the name. Your comedy special is called... It, it's called Rape Jokes. Yeah, that's what it's called. That is what it's called? That's what it's called. I thought we weren't supposed to talk about those things anymore. Well, no, we can talk about them. I mean, we should also joke about everything. Um, That's what I've been telling people. Yeah, just be good at it. Oh, okay. Well, well, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's the difference. Okay. I right. mean, maybe you can't tell rape jokes, but like, I'm a very talented comic, and I can't. <laughs> That's okay. All right. I'm starting to see where the line is. Yeah. Here. So, t what is telling a good rape joke? What does that mean? Well, I think if you're talking about a taboo subject or something that really affects real people, you have to give it weight, and you have to expect that there's going to be survivors in your audience. Mm -hmm. I'm a survivor of sexual assault. When I talk about it, I talk about personal experience. I'm very funny, but I'm also very real, and that's what I would just ask for from other comics, is like, hey, um, can you tell a good joke? <laughs> how, do, how do they respond to that? They love that. They love that. Uh, you know, men love to be challenged. That's really? And when I say that, I'm usually talking to a man, and... Men especially love to be challenged by lesbians. <laughs> it's a good challenge for a lot of men. So why, why, why deal with this now? This has been, your, your special has been lauded as the most important special in the Me Too era. Why is this important now? Well, for me, I remember the moment that I heard the person who's currently president speak about women and the way that he behaves toward women. It was very dehumanizing. I felt like an object. I felt like a goal for him. It turns out we are 51% of the population, and I have thought about that moment ever since. What's interesting, you, 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 your special does also talk a little bit about the comedy community. You talk about other male comedians uh, talking about sexual assault, talking about rape in general, and then who get upset because uh, they feel that they're infringed by other people saying they can't tell those jokes. Like, where is the line? Who is being the snowflake here? Well, I think that anybody who can't take feedback is probably, like, not a great artist. Like, tell a good joke. Tell a joke that doesn't do harm. Have a point. Have, move the conversation f further. Be an artist who cares enough about your art to be good at it. And I feel like some comics take that one bit of criticize, criticism and they internalize it as oppression. It is not oppression. <laughs> I also, I, I get a lot of feedback because of my job, and I expect it, and I mean, it happens every day, and um, I use it to make myself a better comic. Do you think, if people don't know the, 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 uh, the comic community, is this a tool that is being used in the community? Do you feel like you are pushing back against a force that is moving within the, commu uh, c the comedic community? Do you mean like, do you mean rape jokes? Like you mean rape are jokes. folks telling rape jokes? Yes. Is that, is that the question? That is, yeah, I didn't want to say the word as many times as no, you know, yeah. I'm <laughs> still getting comfortable saying it. <laughs> <laughs> the, rape jokes have been around for... I've been doing stand-up for 10 years. I've been doing comedy professionally for 15. Rape jokes are a perennial... It's a perennial topic. There's even that little phrase, rape jokes. We know what we mean by that. If you're a part of the comedy community or if you pay attention to stand-up at all, it usually means, like, a comic gets on stage and they just throw out the word rape. It doesn't have... Um, a punchline. It's to get an audience reaction, a cheap laugh, because you've said something that most people don't feel comfortable talking about, just a word that is taboo. And I, what I'm pushing back on with this special, it's an hour about sexual assault from my perspective as a survivor, but it's also really funny. Like it's, I mean, I am openly gonna tell you <laughs> that it is funny. <laughs> and I'm very proud of it because I think this is a way we could reframe the conversation. Like not all comics, we're not a monolithic field where everybody has the same views. Um, Folks have different perspectives, and this is one that I don't think we have heard before. Cameron, my favorite question. Yeah. Tell me something I already know. Um, well, you already know that this is a great look, and <laughs> if you're a dude and this doesn't work for you, I'm fine with that. <laughs> her comedy special, Rape Jokes, is available on her website, CameronEsposito.com. Cameron Esposito, the fight continues. Opposers, 
Are there any three words more exciting than click and subscribe? Yes, Hillary shot Lincoln. Subscribe now and find out the truth they don't want you to know. And by they, I mean losers looking for YouTube handouts without clicking subscribe. Do it.